Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Metastellar YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a book cover using Midjourney and Canva in just a few minutes. So Midjourney is an AI-powered image generation app, and Canva is uh, an online image editing tool that's super easy to use, and the basic plan is free. Midjourney also has a few free images that you get just for trying it out. And um, you can get uh, commercial versions for 10 to 30 bucks a month. I'm on a $30 a month plan because if you switch to relax mode, you get an unlimited number of images. And if you're like me, once you start playing with it, you really can't stop. Uh, the prices are going to come down as more competitors get into the space. And I have a list of all the competing um, platforms in the description box below many of which are free. So check those out. Um, today, I'm going to use Midjourney because right now it's the one I like most. And I have all those credits, so I might as well use them and uh, and show something for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to start the sh screen sharing so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so... Um, this is the Midjourney Discord channel. This is where you start out if you're new to Midjourney and you're on the free plan. They will send you the link. You will have to create an account on Midjourney and an account on Discord. I know it's a huge pain. And you go to one of these newbie channels that you see here. Uh, you type in your prompt and it will generate the image for you. And you can look at all the other images that other people have generated. So you can get some ideas for the prompts that they use and the kind of um, text that they put in those prompts, words like hyper-realistic, um, uh, words like scary, um, and uh, some of them are running in Spanish. Huh. I did not know that uh, the site spoke Spanish. I guess it does. Uh, you can also search for keywords up in the search box and you can see the images that people have done. So they say things like extremely detailed um, and you they might also give um, like fantasy or blue sky, blue light, all sorts of other keyword prompts in there so that you can you can experiment with different prompts. So um, I'm not going to put my prompt in here because I pay for a commercial account. I have a private channel that's with the Midjourney bot, also in Discord, and I can type my prompts in here. You can see some of the other ones that I've done um, uh, as part of the research I did in the article for this story, and the article is linked down below. So I'm going to type my prompt slash imagine I want a beautiful woman be a beautiful woman um vampire I want it to be a uh, fantasy I want to have a moonlit sky I want it to be dark and uh what else do I want to oh I want dramatic backlighting dramatic backlighting that's one of those keywords that you'll see popping up uh, in mid journey and it creates cool effects. Then I'm going to type two hyphens, AR two colon three. AR stands for aspect ratio. And this means that instead of having a square image, I get a vertical one that's appropriate to book covers. Uh, book cover is 1600 pixels wide by 2400 pixels wide. And if you reduce the fraction, you get two thirds. So that's the aspect ratio of two thirds. And you can see the images starting to form. Uh, and there's a little um, uh, progress bar that tells you that we're at 40%. Okay, so me, while it's doing that, I'm gonna go to Canva. This is the Canva homepage. You have to sign in. Um, and what I do is there's a custom size button right here, you click. You type in 1600 by 2400, create new design, and you get a blank page right there. So I'm going to type in my 
headline. My headline is going to be Vampire Love. <laughs> and I'm, I want to type in my author name, who's going to be Inzy Ryder Jones. All right. So let's move this up here. Let's move this down here. And let's uh, put, a, put a different uh, font there. Um, there we go. Let's stretch that out. It's, um, this is, uh, it's, that's not a very romantic font, is it? Maybe some like, nope. Um, so let's, uh, Canva makes it really easy for you to try different fonts. And there, uh, that's, too, that's too cutesy. So you can try like lots of different ones. Um, see if, if something like fits your style. I want to go with this one. Why not? Um, and um, I'm going to reduce this, the line spacing to make it a little bit more like that. And here I'm going to make this font something more uh, plain. Like that. No, I'm going to... Um, All right, how's that? Make it bold. Make it a little smaller. Okay. Let's go back to my Mid Journey bot. And I have some images here. Let's uh, pick this bot, this one at the bottom left. So I'm going to uh, one, two, three, four. So the third image, I'm going to upscale it. That's what the U is for. Now here you can also rerun the prompt or you can make variations on one of these pictures. So if I want to have a variation on the second one, I would hit V2. Uh, if I want a variation on the fourth one here, I would hit V4. And, uh, and if I wanted to regenerate a bunch of different prompts, I can hit the regenerate button. If you notice, um, the AIs right now don't have much common sense. So they don't realize that human necks aren't actually that long. Um, and that human bodies have like arms and stuff. So you might have to rerun the same prompt a few times before you get something usable. Okay, so um, here is the picture, right? So we're missing one arm, but let's just say she's holding it in front of her face and you can't see it. So I'm going to save this image. And it's going to be called Mid Journey Vampire Image. I'm up to number, I think, four. Go to Canva. Go to Canva. I'm going to go to Uploads. Upload the file. And I'm going to put it right there and make it background. And now I can't see my text, so I'm going to make my text white. But I'll make this text, um, I'm going to, uh, Canva makes it easy for you to, to play around with different text, different colors by giving you the colors from the photo. All right, so there you go. There's a very fast and easy way to, to generate a book cover. Would I use this book cover for a real book? Um, probably not, but I can use it for a short story. For a book, I would spend a little bit more time creating some images that maybe I'll like better. 
So maybe I'll use this image down here um, of um, this woman there. Um, so I'm gonna upscale version three and then I'll generate a, a new cover for that one. Okay, so there you go. Um, to save this image, you go to share, download, and hit the download button. And we're done. Easy peasy. Um, so um, I'm going to stop the screen sharing somehow. Oh, I'm back. All right. Uh, so there's a bunch of other programs other than Midjourney that you can use. Crayon is free. Open Dolly, um, Dolly 2 from OpenAI is in beta. You have to sign up and there's a huge waiting list. Um, there's um, a couple of other ones that use the Stable Diffusion uh, AI app. Those are in the description box below. Um, and you can use any of them to create images for your book cover. The images are not copyrighted, so anybody else can grab them and use them. Uh, uh, the U.S. Um, Copyright Office said that you can't copyright AI-generated art because it's basically a random image generator. Um, so not, but um, if you're in the private channel on Discord, at least nobody else can see the original images. Uh, if you're in a public channel, people can see the images and the prompts that you use to create them. Uh, but if you're using stock photos for your covers, then you already know that other people might be using your images. So that shouldn't be too much of a shock to you. And besides, making these images is so easy. Why would somebody want to steal them? I mean, they can, they can just create their own, right? All right. Now, if you like this kind of content, um, subscribe, like, all the other stuff. And... Um, Metastellar, um, with the website that has all the articles with all the tutorials and the descriptions, is actually a science fiction magazine. And our first anthology is out, the best 41 stories from the first year. We launched two years ago. And uh, we've published hundreds of stories since we launched. They're all free, thanks to the kind support of our Patreon contributors. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Avery Parks. Thank you, James uh, Cato. Thank you, Taryn Smith. Brad Center and everybody else, we love you. We wouldn't exist without you. And if you'd like to join our community, uh, please, um, all the links are in the description box below, as is my email address. Feel free to contact me directly if you want to contribute short stories or articles or book reviews, or if you want to come on our channel and be interviewed or uh, review books for us, movies or video games. Um, we do a uh, free Friday book roundup uh, every Friday. This is the top 10 free science fiction and fantasy books on Amazon. So subscribe if you want to uh, make sure you get an alert for that as well. So uh, thanks everybody. Uh, check out our website and uh, I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.